Well, we are less than two weeks away from Halloween, and you don't have to break the bank or be a design expert to create some dreadfully delightful decorations. Do-it-yourself expert Tara Bench joins us this morning with some great ideas. She's from Home Talk, an online home and garden social network. Thank you so much for being here. You bet. Thank you for having me. We have so you brought so many great ideas. First, though, let me ask you: If you do want to decorate for Halloween, but you don't have a ton of money, you don't have a ton of time, what is your big piece of advice for people? Okay, so these bloggers from Home Talk have great ideas for using things that you already have at home. Mm -hmm. And you just have to buy a few new craft supplies and maybe a can of spray paint and you have really amazing decorations. And you brought a few ideas with you this morning. So show us this yes. first one here. Okay, so the first one is our Halloween luminaries. And you probably have a mason ball mm -hmm. jar at home or a few. All you need is three to spell boo or one if you want to make right. it spooky. And what we did was we took some simple craft supplies of letter stickers and you can get these in any typeface and you just spray paint it and then those peel right off but we use this frosted spray paint to kind of give them that coat right. and then these lovely little lights that are LED lights mm -hmm. that go in the bottom and then at night you can put them out on the porch for the trick-or-treaters to walk up to anything like that so it just takes a few supplies, a little black spray paint to decorate. And I thought these were candles when I looked at them earlier, but they're a little light so it's even safer for people. Yes, you don't have to light anything. You can use traditional Candle, tea lights, right. but these are great and you can reuse them. Come Wonderful. The other holidays. Wonderful. So tell yes. us about these trick-or-treat bags. All right, this one is a fun one to do with kids. They can decorate their own trick-or-treat bags mm -hmm. and do any design they want. We just got canvas bags from the craft store that were plain and then we added decorations with stencils. Any kind of stencil, any decoration, um, a stencil brush if you don't know, right. you tap it instead of painting. So what we did was we painted the base of that and mm -hmm. then we stenciled the design on. Super glued some cute spiders on. It makes a really Halloween-y, write some spooky words on there, and the kids can really get into it. Really fun for them to do after school. And you have some great stickers over there, too. Yes. Anything you find at the craft store can be glued on there and really decorated up. Wonderful. Okay, and these are great, too, for adults as well to do. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the kids will really want to get into this because right. I've even been snacking <laughs> on the candy as we go. But I want you to help me make one of these. They're sure. so simple. And all you do is get twigs from the yard, the park, whatever, mm -hmm. those are free. Okay. So this is really cost efficient. Right. And then candy and put it in vases. They're centerpieces for holidays, anything like that. So what do you put in first? You put the put in the candy first. Okay. And then that will hold the sticks on. So you can do any mix of candy. And what kind of candy? What is this? So these are six slits. Oh, and they okay. come in separate colors at some stores. You can order them online. And then you just stick the sticks stick in. Stick it in. That's so it's super so easy, easy, isn't it? And you can just put any si type of arrangement, short, tall, whatever you want. Oh, now, wonderful. one of the tricks is if you have a large vase. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. I got to press it down. I know, maybe more. that's a big there stick for a small <laughs> vase, right? That one You're goes right. in the tall one. But You're one of the right. tricks is you can use this um, there we go. floral foam. Oh, and stick it in the candy. Idea. We've hidden one of those floral foams inside here. You mm -hmm. can't see it with the candy around there. So it holds the sticks a so little bit So you have this, better. you have M&Ms, you have the candy corns, whatever you kind of have around yes. the house or want to buy. Yes, and these are only some of the projects on Home Talk. You can go on hometalk.com, mm -hmm. search Halloween, and there's thousands of posts from experts and bloggers. And if you have an idea, you can put it on Home Talk as well, Absolutely. Right? So we can all post to Home Talk and mm -hmm. then it gets shared and everyone gets to see it and use it. Wonderful. Well, Tara, thank you so much for bringing all of this in this morning and giving us some great ideas. We appreciate it. And if you want to see any of these ideas again and to find more, you'll find a link on our website, cbsnewyork.com.